Okay, assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all of you who have, um who attended this course. On it actually, it's not no, it's a, a course. Yeah. And it's one actually. It's more on a discussion, <laughs> Prof. Sharing. A discourse. Um, you can put discussion. A discourse. Course, discourse. <laughs> oh, okay, Prof. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Um. Hello and welcome. Um. Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all. My name is Salmi Jemon. I'm the moderator for today's event. And just for housekeeping, that there's a um, there's a reference for self learning materials development have been posted in the chat box. Um, and then, as we have we've mentioned before, this session will be conducted towards a discussion style of engagement. So, um, so before we start, again, the, um, we should I think everybody of us know. This the 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 online learning is a very in thing now. So for the open and distance learning, the success and the effectiveness of distant education systems largely depends on the study of the materials uh, of the study materials. So customized self instructional materials at the heart of instructional delivery in open and distant learning. Hence the reason we attend this event today, a brief introduction on the ODL and to learn more from our speaker today. And then um, our speaker today is a professor of open and distant learning, ODL and technology with more than 35 years of international experience as an e-learning technologist and okay. analyst consultant, presenter, and workshop facilitator. He is currently a research fellow in the University of Science Islam Malaysia, USIM, and was the e-learning chair in the Open University Malaysia, OUM, from 1st October 2019 to 30th September 2020. He has presented 52 keynote addresses in 18 different countries and has published more than 200 publications in international citation index journals books and handbook chapters he has given a definition to the term technology it's a new term for me prof and oh, especially, yeah. huh, and especially promoting it and he was the founding chief editor of both the malaysian journal of educational technology and the international journal of excellence in e-learning based on dubai um, um, so please join me in welcoming Professor Dr. Rozhan Muhammad Idrus. Okay. And then, um, thank you, uh, thank you, Prof, for for accepting our invitation for this event today. Uh -huh. So maybe um, without further ado, I, I'll give the the stage to you. Okay. Assalamualaikum Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirobbilalamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you to what do I call you? Puan. Puan Salmi. Nah, Puan Salmi. Ma twin brother in Sabah, Ma Profong. <laughs> okay. And other distinguished uh, colleagues from UMS. Thank you for spending some time this morning. I my 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 punchline is thank you for spending the next uh, few hours of your life with me. <laughs> Because you will not, this time will not come again. So, you know, I hope I can have a discussion that can be beneficial to you. But please feel free to interject uh, because my, my session is for you. So I don't want to just keep on talking for my benefit. It has to be for your benefit. So, if you have any questions, please ask so that it becomes clear to you. And like I said to Puan Sami, we cannot solve everything uh, in one day. Just um, see what you can capture here and uh, how you can actually adopt and adapt in whatever you are trying to do. And maybe we can have another discussion some other time to kind of further enhance what you need to know and uh, uh, address any impending issues that might occur in the future. Okay. So, okay. So now really our, we, we are here because of something. <laughs> Otherwise we will not be doing this. This is my, my, my main contention. I say to people, okay. We have been put in this situation because of something. Because otherwise, we are still doing our normal things, correct or not? And come to work, go to work, 
uh, our notes uh, remain the same for the last 10 years, you know, the way we do things has been normal, you know, we get bored and boring. And, uh, but when coronavirus came, uh, there was a shock to the world, not to UMS, the whole world was in shock. Uh, and nothing is bad. Shopping, uh, teaching, learning, going to school, going to university, going to the park, traveling, all the airplane, all, all, I don't know what they're going to do, the airplane, all, 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 all not flying, you know, and uh, people losing their jobs. So, you know, because when a coronavirus enter, we have to do something from our, it's just from our standpoint, from our ed higher education standpoint, we have to do something. We need to react because uh, COVID is here to stay. COVID is not going to go anyway. The vaccine will not cure the COVID. The vaccine is just a precaution. And that is so not. So we have to look at our future, okay? So, in a nutshell, we all already have new experiences. We have new experiences. Let's, let's analyze this a little bit. You know, let's uh, analyze. We are all staying at home. Lecturers stay at home. Students stay at home. VC, VC also stay at home. Or VC maybe go to work from time to time. Okay, uh, and then he did, and then he he preferred to stay at home, but we have to do the same thing. Life goes on. We have to continue teaching. So in effect, we are not doing different things. We are doing the same thing. We are doing different things, but now we have to do it differently. Okay, so now you have notes, yeah, whatever. You are still going to do your teaching, but you have to do it in a different way because of the circumstances. So even if I put some pictures here, you can see. Uh, uh, you can see, like for those who, who go to the mosque to listen to lectures, cannot go to the mosque anymore. But the mosque comes to you in the morning. In fact, if you open your Facebook in the morning, there are about five or six live lectures that you can choose from. In fact, you don't know your spot for choice. You know. In fact, if you even if you you can still watch the recording later. Or you can download the recording. So there's the way you do things now is different, but you still listen to the lecture in your own time. Food wise, food comes to your doorstep. You can buy prawns to your doorstep. You can buy books. Now everything comes to your doorstep. You technically speaking do not have to go anywhere. You know, you have to spend a bit more money to pay the grab driver, Uber driver, whatever delivery they come to your step, correct? Yeah. yeah. So so this you need to relate this to teaching. Okay, what do you expect in teaching remain the same? Is gonna you know now already that it has changed so much. Okay, uh, sitting down in a lecture room like this, crowded, it will probably be a thing of the past. And I'm sure you 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 can't see this anymore because distancing is here to stay. You come near. But the virus is there. This is not. This is not like the flu virus. This is very different. This is a virus. You, why? Why do we have to? Why do we have to stay one meter, or one point five meters apart? <laughs> Actually, if you stay one to five point five meters apart, you're really okay because the, the 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 virus is kind of heavy, you know, heavy. So it goes kind and it falls. So if you can near enough, it's near enough for it to 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 jump to the next person. But if you distance yourself. You are safe, and sure. And so, but but the sad part of it that people in Malaysia don't want to understand the fact that they have to be distanced. So once you start to kind of meet and uh, mingle again, then the virus will come back. So the numbers will go up and down and up and down, and like a never-ending story. You know, uh, you you have to be apart. Even if you were to visit your family members, you still have to be apart. You know, when people start hugging. And even a fist bump, that's enough. Uh, that's enough. Uh, that is enough for the virus to 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 reach each other. Okay, so let's say the Guardian uh, said COVID, and, and I, like I said, for every advantage, there is a corresponding is uh, every disadvantage. There is a corresponding advantage, and even Guardian says COVID nineteen is our best chance to change our universities for good. You agree for good? Uh, yeah. If you're thinking that you're going to go back to normal soon, I think you better stop thinking like that because uh, normal is gone. <laughs> we are living in a new world. I won't say new normal. I just say new environment. We have a new new way of doing things. So now it's time to get real serious. Time to get real serious because um, 
and then all of a sudden when when the covid came everybody is going online i want to ask a question if anybody got an answer for me even prof Fong, if you got answer, who decided that we have to go online i i have not gotten a satisfactory answer until today who was the person who decided okay now we go online have an answer for me i i have not gotten an answer yet until today nobody can answer me who decided no because of the COVID. now we go online hmm ada can you know do you know who who made this very brave decision that we don't go online and suddenly everybody talking about online uh, online webinar online uh, assessment online learning for all and you know for a fact that our penetration online e learning internet in Malaysia is not 100 percent nobody can get full internet nobody can get full access so why do you do that so anybody want to answer me i have no i have no price price for you but i just want to know who decided we go online prof the magic word will be kpt kpt yeah uh, you kpt uh. Uh. Hmm, okay that, that's the that's the nearest more honest answer mm -hmm. that I have. nobody dares say KPT so except you. <laughs> so don't don't share this a uh, video to the KPT's prof. Otherwise, <laughs> <I'll get some laughs> no 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 no. You see this this discussion is fine. Hi Kenneth, how are you? Prof, prof, nice I to think, see you again. Yeah, hi prof. Good morning. I think that was a collective decision made by because of convenience. It's convenient to do that, so people had to opt for that. There's no other option, prof. Yeah, That's my opinion. Yeah. Thank you. Com convenience is fine, but then when you want, like I say, you measure ten times, you cut once. When you want to, you have to look at all the factors. Uh, at least do a SWOT analysis. Who will be involved? And, you know, if you do something that, uh, and then you when you when you go online, you must adhere to very first principle of technology adoption, which is everybody must have this technology. If, in, first principle and then you want you want you want it to work then you know you, you you know until now after about almost one year we still not solve the problem because impossible for every person per student can have access impossible if that was the issue we would have access years before that make sure everybody got online but we didn't do that because it was not possible okay so point is uh, remote rem emergency remote teaching uh, okay but uh, have we done well we it's been almost 11 months I mean, in fact next time be one year one year no joke no one year so everybody going around ERT ERT I go MRT like morning <laughs> okay but but it's meant to be a temporary shift from normal modes of teaching okay if you have an earthquake you know then you have emergency response team to respond immediately to the situation so okay fine now you have this coronavirus all students are uh, uh, have been ordered by the government to go home shut down everything so you have ERT fine but how far how long can emergency be varied you know after that it's not emergency anymore after that is something that you need to address as a, an issue that is going to probably take a long time to solve so like i said to lecturers you're, if you're listening if you're still waiting to go back to normal forget it you will never go back to normal and there um, there must now be seriousness in how you now prepare your teaching engagement with the learners the 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 the, the, uh, the what do you call this the uh, yeah what do you call it uh, the the way the way the witness has changed before when you uh no no I, I thought I, I thought I explained to you okay are we okay with this so unlike online learning emergency is only meant to be temporary but even you see the last line right? even temporary learning should be properly designed and well thought out before. Uh, out before beginning so it's not just like uh, uploading your powerpoint uploading your lecture uploading your quiz this is not an uploading learning this is online learning where learning is the key issue not the online okay the fact that some can that some cannot get access is a different story lah. but the learning part 
has now to be tweaked um, in the absence of the learner. The learner is not in front of you anymore. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm just sharing with you my personal experience because I was in USM since 1986, just like uh, Profong, and I was doing both. I was teaching face to face in the faculty, and I was also doing ODR in the School of Distance Education since 1986. So I was doing face to face and ODR at the same time in the same university. Okay, so I have experienced, I see, I see both worlds. In fact, I can marry both worlds. But, but ODR taught me a very different uh, way of doing things, which benefited face to face. Okay, so let's, let's, I was retired in 2019. Now I'm kind of a, uh, on a part time as a research fellow in the university. So I still do some work and then give some lectures, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what else do I see? Remote, remote. Uh, I would like to contest, uh, yeah, what's remote? Let, let's see what's remote. And the emergency, not anymore. There's no more emergency, correct? Huh? So what is, when you say remote, this is my, my biggest point of contention. What is remote actually? And why remote? What is remote? Remote is, is, is relative. Is, is one kilometer remote? 500 kilometers? 1,000 kilometers? But remote is not the issue to me because I'm, I'm so used to distant learning. Remote is not an issue. That's not the real issue. The real issue is separation. The real issue is separate. You can live down, you can live in the same street with your, as your lecturer uh, live this end of the street, so then live there, but you're still separated. You're still, it's not remote, maybe just 500 meters down the road, but you are separated. So how do you actually do the teaching and learning while you are separated? Very different from how you are in the in the in the campus. So now you have to come back to this big picture of scenarios for learning facilitation. You know we have this four this, this paradigm. We are, have before been in the same place at the same time, correct? You are in the campus, so you are in the same place at the same time. You do a classroom teaching, face to face tutorial, seminar, workshop. Uh, blah 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 whatever the case may be you even uh, you, uh, you invited speakers come to campus you know so you are in the same place at the same time now you have been pushed to the other extreme of different place and different time hmm. you are not even different place same time you're not even the uh, same place different time you are different place different time okay because maybe the time that you teach online the student cannot have access. They can only have access and in, in the different time. So they, you, you know, they are not only in a different place. They are now also maybe access whatever you did on a recording at a different time. Only when they can get access in their friend's house or cyber cafe or something in their house. There's probably not even electricity in some places in Malaysia. Okay. So once you you are aware of this scenario for sure you can make a conclusion that what you have what you were doing in the same place and same time cannot be the same as when you are in a different place and a different time so you can you can figure out for yourself i cannot i cannot do what i've been doing the same way now i must be in a different way to facilitate for a different place and a different time uh are we okay so far is every now i cannot see you so i don't know okay not okay <laughs> Hmm. Anyone want to say anything so far? We have a lot of time, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure you, you can last three hours, but we try to cover as much as possible. But as long as the objective is, uh, we it, um, capai objective, I think okay lah. You know, I'm not, I'm not so, I'm not so, uh, I'm not going to push uh, you to understand uh, all that I say. You need time. I the 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 the, the slides will be given to you, uh, once I mean, you can have a discussion. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I have this title, Fly Me to the Moon. <laughs> okay, Fly Me to the Moon. I have two metaphors to share with you. One is a frame of reference metaphor. The other is a, I'll tell you afterwards. Now, Fly Me to the Moon, if you imagine uh, you send the student to the moon. <laughs> That's why I say Fly Me to the Moon. Because I don't want you to think that just because the students are not on campus, uh, you still think that in campus, so you're still doing things like you were in campus, but they're not in campus. Now, if you fly them to the moon, it's a different story. Definitely, they are so far away. So, my point is here. Uh, before they were in campus, 
Okay, they were in campus, so we were in the same location. We had the same facilities. We had the same computer network, access to lecturers. We enjoyed gathering, eating, sports, going to the gym, uh, you know, on campus. So this is the on campus frame of reference. I, 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 I teach physics, so I talk about frame of reference. Okay. Okay, eh? we're happy with the frame of reference. Lecturer also, never mind. Can send notice on the notice board, can say add a lecture or cancel a lecture on the spot. Uh, you know, um, start lecture late and lecture early, also can, no problem. <laughs> student come, student don't come, sometimes they come late and they don't come at all. Sometimes you chase them to the room, sometimes they chase you and then like, then the virus arrived. I, I tell you this because I saw lecturers, I know. Huh? <laughs> the, <laughs> the virus arrived. And we are all now in our own home. We are now all in our own home. No more the campus reference frame. So in your own home, you do not have the same facilities anymore. You do not have the same computer facilities anymore. You do not have the same, you do not have access to library anymore. You do not have uh, going to the study room anymore. You do not have any access. You are not in your own home. So everything that you used to have, So you cannot tell the student go to the. You cannot tell them uh, I already upload my PowerPoint in the LMS. Go and get it. You cannot because they are not there. They cannot access. They have no computers at home. No network. No database. No 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 not enough data on the phone. So you know the task now is to conduct teaching and learning when the students are separated from the teacher and space. And when teaching is done and where teaching is, uh, when and where you teach is not the same as when and where they study. So this is something that you need to really understand. So even uh, the next metaphor will be more self-explanatory to, 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 to tell you how different things are now. Uh, you, you can follow this, you know, so you have to, you have to get, you have to get the campus mindset out of your mind. Now you have to put the off campus. Okay, in your website I found out of campus. So now the out of campus must be in your head because students are not there with you. They do not have the same facility. They do not have the same access to anything. They are just at home. Okay, so how do you get to them? And when you go online to a student who do not have online, how do you how do you reach them? Ah, uh, see. First, first, first hurdle stumble already. When students do not have access, how do they get whatever they send to you? Oh, already upload my my my, my notes in the uh, LMS. So what? They can't get it. Okay. So you have to think about it. Okay. Metaphor is more interesting. This I call it the fast food metaphor. Okay. I already I already told Fong the story. Never mind. If he's here, he listen again. Never mind. <laughs> So, like I said, the way we do things now is also different. The way we eat is also different. The virus arrived, no more going to the restaurant. The, re ref the reference uh, frame going to the restaurant is, is, is finished. But the restaurant come to you. Okay. If anyone would like to respond, one or two feedback. What can you see from this picture that you can relate to teaching and learning? Hmm. Anyone? I just wanted to respond. If you can, if you can, uh, you can think about teaching and learning, and think about the fast food metaphor. So it is, it, it has become a fast food metaphor now. So uh, let's see how you can relate to what I show you. Uh, just forget. I just cut and paste a few things. Now, so uh, forget about what you see on the on the on the. I, I, I just I sure didn't look. I just you want this Facebook barang I, I don't know. Don't forget it. I, I will I will amend this. <laughs> okay. I could I can't pay. I, I want to put I want to put Malaysian. I want to put Malaysian fast food. I don't want to put all the uh, American fast food. You don't know also all the all the uh, Wendy or the Hardee's. I know I've been to US, but you've not been to US. You don't you know. So I put more Malaysian, nineteen oh one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can anyone tell me anything that you can relate to uh, what you see on the board uh, and as, as opposed to teaching and learning? 
Prof. There's, there's uh, I think, few of our friends are uh, responding in the chat box. Okay. Some of the answers are like um, uh -huh. a food panda. Okay. Um, no, no, you can see uh, food panda. Uh, but ad uh, adapting. Okay. Uh, Dr. Dr. Light adapting. Dr. Okay. Priscilla, we are, de we are delivering lessons to them. Okay. Um, Charlie, Dr. Charlie is stimulation. Dr. Zaitun said variety. Okay. Dr. Abdul Rahman can choose your module from the menu. Okay. okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Laila good. Wati is uh, interesting. Craving. Okay. Craving. <laughs> Ayah, don't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's poor proof already when you speak about 1901 already something um, lingering. Um, yeah. Students can pick and choose what to learn from yeah. uh, Dr. Janurin. Menu yeah. driven. Dr. Kenneth, customer driven ecosystem. Um, yeah. Variety of teaching methods, a uh, lot of response uh, from okay, our okay, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, that's, yeah, okay, okay. So, bottom line is, if you were to go into a fast food restaurant, okay, you order based on the menu on the board, okay, then you order, order, order you, you get the food on a tray, okay, you get food on a tray, you get your drink, you get your straw, they give you, yeah, you can take your fork and spoon at the side. You can take your own sauces at the side, okay? You can, in fact, if you are eating, if you want some more food, you can order more food at the counter, okay? Now, these things cannot happen anymore because once you are at home, the food comes to you, the food cannot come on a tray. Correct? So when the food cannot come on the tray, like when the uni students are on campus, all things are there. They can go to the LMS, they can see this, they can go to the library, they can see the notes that you put on your door, on your wall, wherever you put your notes, they can get it, they can see it. But now that mechanism is gone. So number one, when you see the fast food here, the first thing that comes, uh, that uh, the what has changed? When the food comes to you, it cannot come in the form that when you eat in the restaurant. It comes to you in a different package. So packaging is an issue. You have to repackage your content. That's one. Okay, so this might come to mind. I cannot send to the student the same way I send to 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 them in the university. If you send a note to the university, if they cannot understand, they can knock on your door. But if you send notes to them, they cannot understand. They pun nak tanya siapa? Ha. Not the fact that they cannot get connected in the first place. You cannot even understand. So you must repackage your content in a different way now. You cannot just send your notes as before. You cannot just send your PowerPoint as before. In your PowerPoint, must also have intermittent um, PowerPoint with explanatory notes, same thing that you explain in the classroom when you power play your PowerPoint. You cannot just send, please send the PowerPoint full sale. They, you at the PowerPoint, like, look at a silent movie. Because you are not there to explain. Example lah. Okay. Now, you choose from the menu. Fine. Correct. When you go to that. But when you are at home, your menu must be told to the student. Means you must have very proper list of what is available means you must have your your academic academic planner ready for the student okay now uh, this is typical if odl is changed when uh, means the cost planner must be given to the student ahead of time this is another keyword everything must be pre-planned not the same as when you are in campus okay so the student must already know what uh what's the what's going to be discussed in the first week second week third week when when are the assignments uh due what's the scope of the first assignment what's the scope of the first lecture uh first uh test what's the scope of the second test normally this kind of thing you you give kind of impromptu on campus okay i will post on my board the scope of, no 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 this cannot happen because same thing like when you are uh, when you want to order food from home you look at the menu on the on the app the menu on the app must be very very well designed what's available what's the pricing what's the package what time arrival to send to you 
Okay? So the same thing must happen when you are addressing the student that not in front of you. Everything must be clear. Instruction, what to do, when you get this, when to send, how to send, la la la. Uh, run or turn it in, whatever the case may be. And then you look at the food panda, then maknanya, there must be a delivery mechanism. There must be a delivery mechanism to get, not about the panda lah. <laughs> there must be a delivery, uh, 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 connecting mechanism, whether you send it through online or you post it through, or you, you post a pen drive to them, or you post notes, what? There must be a delivery mechanism. Okay, so otherwise, otherwise you see the food truck there. Eh? If you if you can have a food truck like uh, uh, Dudu Mimos had a had a, a knowledge bus, you know the bus that goes into the the village to to showcase some computer. If you can have this kind of uh, uh, bus go from, I mean, I mean example, but my point is things go to you, but go to you cannot be in the same way that it was in campus. So you must tweak this to address self-learning. The design must also be able to facilitate for self-learning. Learning means not just self-reading, learning. They read, you must understand. When the material must also be designed in a way other. they have uh, content, they have exercises, they have examples, they have quizzes, they have any way that can make them understand because they are not there to ask you questions. You must second guess. And this is where, where your experience in the teaching of maybe 10 years, 20 years, you know what's supposed to be the problem. So this now must be embedded in your teaching of giving examples because they're they not there to ask, but you know what's the problem. Okay, so now, like I say, you must tweak your content for already self-instruction, remote learning. No, wrong, not remote learning. Learning, <laughs> they are separated. Yeah, yeah, some might be remote, lah, but not so remote. Okay. If you get can get you can get this picture, ODL becomes very simple to you. It's just a matter of the fact that they are now. Uh, okay, this is defining ODL. Uh, now we go to because if you can understand the metaphor, I don't want to put this in the beginning. I put this beginning, you you print. <laughs> if you can understand the metaphor, then you can relate to this. Okay. And ODL has many definitions. You cannot use one definition because it, it may be uh, advanced country where they have very high adoption of technology, the definition might look a little bit different. Okay? In a country where they have kind of medium technology, the definition looks very different. In a country where they have very, very low technology, the definition will look different. Okay? Uh, so somebody asked a question. What is that? Something about quality. I cannot, I see flash in front of me and it disappear. Yes, there's a, a question, Prof, from ha. our uh, Muhammad Safri. If that's the case, now if the case, if ha. it's the, if that's the case, ha. limited and repackage. Ha. So how do we preserve the taste and quality? Ah, what's wrong with the taste? Okay, okay. When you go to the restaurant, how many kitchen you have? Kitchen. One kitchen. One kitchen. Whether you eat in the restaurant or you do takeaway, it's from the same kitchen. Mm -hmm. You can do, in fact, there are three. You can either eat in the restaurant, you can do a drive through Even drive through packaging is different. Huh? Packaging is different. You cannot give a tray in the drive through drive the car, or the, or the stick on the tray will, will fly in the car. So, you know, uh, okay. <laughs> so, the food comes from the same kitchen. So the quality is already ensured by your university. It's a safe content. You there's nothing. You're not you're not changing the quality of the content. You're not changing the quality. If I we, I order KFC, the food comes still warm, still hot, because even the food panda, they the bag is all heated, all insulated bag. Okay, even if you order shell out, the bag is also uh, insulated. The food comes to you still warm. Normally take away. They don't send too far. Lah. Take away maybe about within five kilometers. They don't send take away 100 kilometers. <laughs> then you put it. <laughs> cool. Okay. But quality is really the quality that is in the university. The, 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 the design or content is there. And then you also have your own uh, members and faculty to, like, like you vet exam question. 
you can also bet the court down we are going to do this in the self then we, you, you have to do some betting you have to do some quality control quality assurance that one must be done that's the job of us lah. that's our job yeah the student don't know what they're getting no? that's our job to make sure the quality of the content after you have uh, tweak the same thing how you vet your exam question make sure it's a quality that one is our job you know you ensure the quality because you are the one sending out okay let's look at this uh, the first one is separation of teacher and learner in time or space or in both okay like i said you know same place same time same place different time same place that uh, same different time same place uh, and different place different time so you can have separation to teacher learner in time and space or both time and space or either time or space doesn't matter so if you do like like, like now now we are same time but different place okay? now you are in the same time otherwise you'll not be listening to me otherwise you'll be listening to I every mean, when you hear a recording it's different place different time now we are different time oh, no no now we are same time different place you are the, you, you are where you are i am where i am okay now number two is institutional accreditation that is learning is uh, learning uh uh, uh the uh, this one never this one institution accredited. Yeah, I mean, this one is you're talking general, lah. But but my any university is already accredited. Yeah, is uh, accredited by uh, and uh, the ministry. Your program also accredited by MQA, uh, etc. etc. This one you know. number three use of mixed media courseware. Yeah, includes print, radio, broadcast, video, audio cassette, computer based learning, telecommunication courseware. Tends to be uh, so you must be pre-test validate before you so this is where you validate and ensure the quality of your content many universities who do odl have a separate quality assurance uh, mechanism so that the content that you send out is not uh, plagiarized content it's not uh, it's, it's, it's uh, well quote unquote original uh, quote unquote not 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 uh, committing plagiarism you can use other people's material as long as you don't say it's your material you give proper citation proper um, reference that's fine that's fine okay then there's two-way communication which allow learner and tutors to interact as uh, as distinguished from passive break receive broadcast communication can be synchronous or asynchronous so uh, uh my 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 punchline always is you go online only when you really need to go online it's not like you stay in front of computer from nine to five no 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 you can you <laughs> my friend told me hey you know this student uh, after the session finished two hours she's still on no <laughs> means uh, the guy just disappeared somewhere and you know, when the lecture finished he's still on you, know? you can you, you don't like like i said you don't know what's on the other side yeah you you can i don't know what you're doing now you're probably eating me goreng or <laughs> dancing your phone while i'm talking you can't, can't see what you're doing Okay, some of you may go have gone to the kitchen to get some coffee or uh, attending to your children or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know what you're doing. You're not, you're not on camera, so you can do what you like. You know, <laughs> this is the same thing. Okay, uh, possibility of face-to-face -face meeting for tutorial. Yes, you meet face-to-face. -face. You go online when there is a reason to go online for discussion. One hour cow cow discussion, address issue after students ask so many questions one hour session to answer all questions you don't do not come online and take attendance lecture ask students what you understand no 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 you have to be a very really flip concept now they read first come online for discussion specific so even in odl when you have an, uh, a video conference agenda your video conference session must have an agenda means you already know what's going to discuss in that session the student will prepare for that session. It's not like coming online, okay, what are you going to do today? Oh, no, no, no. That is what you do in your class. Yeah, in your class. Okay, this morning, what are we going to do? Uh, you can change anything on the spot. This cannot happen when you are uh, in uh, uh, this open and distant learning. Everything is already pre-planned. What can happen next is just any more enhancement at the same time, any more question at the same time, answering the student's uh, problem or whatever the case may be okay then you say uh, use of industrial process you must have uh, uh, the facility the the connectivity the management to send materials uh, to, to 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 collect assignments to jot down assignment and give the assignment to the lecture this is all managerial use of industrial processes so those things must also happen which doesn't happen on the on campus because on campus the lecturer may give uh, assignment and the students send directly to the lecturer 
Okay, now if you want to do that, I think you're gonna have a problem. For in ODL, it's done all done centrally, centrally administered, administered like post office. I mean, you just collect your mailbox. So when student send uh, assignment, it goes to your mailbox or mail mail basket. Then the basket, this is yours. <laughs> okay. So if you send one and one to you, it might get lost, it might not and then it might not arrive, it might be eaten by a crocodile or something. So you you know, so things must change not only from teaching standpoint, even from administration standpoint to facilitate for ODL. So it's not as it's not as easy as it looks, it's not as difficult as it looks, because it's just a matter of being more transparent. Because when you teach face to face, many things is hidden. Many things hidden, like uh, uh, many things hidden that you can ask the student to go to the library. Okay, now student cannot go to the library. So you must unhide the thing. You must give the student the reading list. Ah, you must give, because they have no access to the library. You must give the student reading list. And don't, don't, they don't even have access to the book. You must sometimes give some PDF of the book for them to read. Ha. So this this is how so it become uh, more it become transparent now. Before it was kind of hidden. Okay. Now uh, you say uh, I will put out the schedule on the board tomorrow. This cannot happen. Schedules must be sent well in advance. Well in advance. Okay. Your your video conference session for two weeks ahead already sent. So they can make preparation. So so you're still doing the same thing, but you have to do it now differently. You have to think ahead plan ahead even if you order even if you order from a fast food they're not going to send to you in five minutes they say we we'll give you a time we delivered within 40 minutes uh half an hour falling cepat half an hour you know but they have to prepare they have to package they have to write and come and send to you you know and so when you want to eat fast food you also know you at least must wait half an hour you know in the shop it's different you go order on the spot you eat but when you want to eat fast food, you uh, you want to at seven, six o'clock, you must order already. Okay, so when you have session with the student, you must already send agenda, you must already send content ahead of time. So this becomes more like a flip concept. Yeah. Okay, any question before I go to the next slide? Now you must relate what I'm saying to your teaching and learning now. You know, so like I said, there's a lot of tweaking, a lot of adopting and adapting, and a lot of repackaging, a lot of uh making more transparent things that were not transparent before so you have to actually uh uh de de deconstruct deconstruct your lecture to the parts big parts even your weekly weekly lecture you must also see these are the con if you go to a lecture okay if you go to a lecture this is yes, when you enter a lecture room eh, that is the first time the student is listening to you based on what you are trying to teach. Right now. You did not send the notes beforehand. Eh? In fact, your notes were already half an hour before that. <laughs> your lecture at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, you come to office, make some, some notes, make one or two questions. Yeah, one hour, not so difficult to kill. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to right now. Okay. When you come to class, that is the first time the student is listening to you. This is the first time the student is looking at whatever you write on the board, whatever you put on your PowerPoint, whatever you write on transparency. And that is the same time they have to copy your content. At the same time, they have to understand what you teach. You think that happened? Huh? I don't think so. You think it happened when they say the first time they see your lecture, first time they listen to you, that's the same time they have to copy, the same time they have to understand in one hour. You think they, they can achieve all that? I don't think they can achieve. They, they have never been able to achieve. But otherwise, everybody has gotten A's. Somebody will fail, somebody get B, somebody get C, somebody get whatever. But in this learning, it's different because the whole module is sent ahead of time. The content is already there. Those who are fast can read more, those who are slow can repeat and repeat and repeat. And when you come to a session, you already know exactly what you're going to discuss, what are the, uh, what are the questions that are going to do, and, and, and we, you can have more participation in, in ODL as compared to face-to-face. -to -face. I, I know people say interactivity. I say face-to-face -face is the most uninteractive, unless you design it to be interactive. But if you have to teach and ask questions at the same time, 
And they cannot understand what you're teaching, and then you expect to ask them to ask a question. Right? Ah, uh, okay. So we need to. I say that's why I say this. This, this virus is uh, it's a, it's a it's a blessing. Some some content that come context is a blessing. We need to relook at how we do things, uh, and then you know, uh, there's, there's something good out of it. You know, we leave the medicine to the medicine people. We deal with the teaching and learning. You know, and and I think that to me personally, there's a lot of room for improvement. Okay, bottom line is bottom line is you are now talking about facilitation. So facilitation in the campus and facilitation outside campus are not the same. Because now you have to look at giving feedback uh, regarding learner progress and learning synchronous or asynchronous. Okay. Do you have to facilitate for contact between learners, uh, uh, whether face-to-face -face or electronically or any human way possible? Because they are no longer on campus. Now you have also to use supplementary learning material, like I say, such as notes, handbooks, guides, manuals, regulation, non primary because they have no more access to all of that. Okay, now you have a facilitate for contact between students. If you want to them do some group project, then you have must you must facilitate how they can do that. Okay, you must also have uh, some facilitation for access to st library, study area, content, and telecommunication network. So you know. It's not as easy. Oh, we go online. What online? The guy in the kampung ayah pun tak ada api pun tak ada you online. Apa? Huh? And so, you know, <laughs> so this is the overall facilitation that you are talking about. You have to, because this facilitation happens on campus, like I said. But now it has to happen outside the campus. So the, the way you do things now is very different. You can send um, pen drive. You can send, you know, what's, what's, what? What is puzzling to me? What's the rush with the online? Actually, when you, even if you, I mean, if you, even if you were to post content, how long does it take to reach the student? Two months? Two days only? Three days? So what's what, what the big deal? You send this content next week. You discuss, lah. Can this is it must all be pre-planned, you know, whatever you want to discuss the next week, you already said this, week, so they have time to get it. Whether the back still borrow, or whatever, uh, ask their friend to photocopy, send to them. You no, know, they have one week to kind of uh, make things happen. So when the time comes, everybody has content, you know, or they can also go to their friend's house next week, stay because friend's house got connection, stay in their friend's house. So so you have to give time for the learners also to plan the learning, which is. Not like they are no longer face to face, they just walk in from the hostel to the actual room, go home. No, no, no. This is already very different. Very different. So you must think in a different way, uh, be more creative, be more adaptive, be more uh, because you have to put yourself in the student's shoes. Like you are in the kampong and in the village and you have no access. How would you how would you do it? Put it in your put put yourself in their shoes, you know. And this is not this is not like uh uh, this is not like uh, uh, this is not like what even live football not got recording really. Dulu, dulu we used to have uh, uh, <laughs> dulu that's what they say yeah. Uh, the VCR you know VCR video cassette recorder which is one of the greatest invention of mankind because dulu you want to watch a movie you have to go to the movie theater you have to go to the theater when the VCR came you buy video watch movie at home. <laughs> Not only that, you can repeat movie when you want to go to the theater. You want to watch 10 times, you have to pay ticket 10 times. Huh? You got cassette at home, 10 kali you tengok pun free charge. <laughs> so the VCR was one of the greatest invention of technology, lah. not man. Not man lah. No. So this, and, 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 and before, we were sending audio cassette to the student, we were sending video, now you got audio file and video file. Online before that, no online. 1986, I was teaching distance learning in 1986. 1986, madam, there's no handphone in 1986. There's no internet in 1986. So we send audio cassette to the student. We send video cassette to the student. Okay. So now the 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 thing is still the same. It's still audio, it's still video, but then only the two change. Now we got audio file, video file, we got audio cassette, video cassette, still audio video. You still have to produce the video, you still have to produce the audio. The content doesn't change. How it gets to the learner is now different. 
like you eat in the restaurant or how the 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 the, the food comes same food same food eh? okay if you can understand that i think you don't need to talk about odl odl is a technicality in terms of getting accreditation mqa rules and regulation blah 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 other than that it's just kind of your job in the teaching and learning world how to make the world of teaching and learning now to get to the learners that's no longer in campus in make it very uh ada -ada. sorry sorry i show you okay now now you have to rethink your teaching and learning and promote experiences to the learner do uh, uh, on the moon at home whatever you have to now design your content to inspire them challenge them excite them engage them captivate them motivate so, then i will never i will never resign i cannot learn <laughs> This is an opportunity for you to reload your content, how to enhance your content, how to stimulate your content, how to design your content, to stimulate the learner, motivate the learner, captivate. Now you have, you know, in 1986, you don't even have software yet. In 1986, you don't even have software yet. You don't have app yet. Now there are so many at your fingertips. App, other software, other courseware, other multimedia computing, other, so it's, you can make it very captivating your content very engaging, very exciting. You know, you can download some small, you can even send small video file through your handphone. Not so big, maybe one minute. It's enough. You have to inspire. Now, this is our job. This is our job, okay? Kenapa lah? And when you are in ODL, uh, after I tell you a bit more, when you're ODL, I think it teaches me to be more organized. <laughs> it taught me to be more organized because when you want, because when you want to send uh, okay, so for ODL, you have to send the content ahead of time. In the beginning of the semester uh, or year, it's sent to the student. Content, uh, but the con materials are sent to the student. The video conference schedule sent to the student. Ready or ready? Uh, the assignments are already sent to the learners. Means your assignment must be ready when you send all those to the <laughs> package. You cannot get missing. Even from an administrative standpoint, and monetary step huh? you cannot send today i want to send these notes tomorrow i want to send the assignment how many times you want to post your nifty go back crap lah. so you put in one package send everything your content is there your assignment is there reading material is there photo whatever that, that that's what you get the learning package sent to the learner okay uh, so it taught me to be more organized. In fact, when I was teaching face to face and also distant learning, even for my face to face, my assignment ready. <laughs> my assignment was ready. My test question was ready. My exam question was ready ahead of time. So I have a lot of time to do other things. I know lah. You are two weeks before uh, you, uh, you get notice. Okay. You, uh, Please submit your exam question by certain day. Some people, after that date only, submit. Correct or not? Okay. But this one can happen in the ODL, you know, because to, you must prepare the student uh, the, 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 the early. Because it has to be sent to the learners. You know, it has to be uh, designed, it has to be vetted, it has to be printed, it has to be posted. So all those takes time. Huh. So this mechanism must be rethink in terms of uh, logistics, uh, logistics, management, you know. Your job, make the question, make it early. Like I said, it has taught me to be more organized. I do things uh, early and I have, I have a lot of time to do other things. Seriously, to try and see. If you are, if in, in the beginning of the semester, you have your exam question ready, your assignment question ready, your assessment question, you'll be so happy, you know. <laughs> Kalau tidak, you always pressure, oh no, maybe, uh, after finish one thing, you know, never ending story. After finish one thing, you come back. So you are doing three or four things at the same, uh, repeatedly. How different is your assignment question, test question, exam question? Same content. Right? How many times you want to do the same content? One shot, you finish. Try not. Uh, try lah, try, try. Because you are so used to face to face. You do know of ODL. I do both. So I know. Oh, in fact, when I go to a conference, I prepare my 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 face-to-face -face lecture in a distant learning manner. So I'm do I don't have to be there, and the student can still learn. I give them no, I give them, da, 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 da. Okay, so I marry both distant learning and face-to-face. Uh, -face. 
So, you know, like I said, I can disappear for one hour. Nowadays, it's even easier. You can also go online when you are at the conference. You can Facebook live, whatever. Dulu mana, like I said, dulu mana ada online, dulu mana internet mana, Facebook. So, you prepare uh, self-instruction for the student. So, uh, the time of my lecture, they can read whatever I get today. You, they want to stay as a group, come to class, stay at home, the library, up to them. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, because now, uh, in context, eh? in context, you are no longer the only source of information. Because you are no longer on campus. So the student on their own can access to millions of other learning resources. In fact, they also can find the PowerPoint that you take from the internet. Oh, this one. My <laughs> lecturer took from the internet. Same content. <laughs> Example. <lah. laughs> Don't say you do that. And learning is 24-7, you know. And you, you don't know when they learn, morning, evening, night, when they are comfortable, which is even better. Sometimes you have an 8 o'clock lecture. 8 o'clock lecture, they half asleep, they, are, they have mastered the art of sleeping with the eyes open. They are eyes open, they are sleeping. You lecture, 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 so they don't understand anything. Now, with the content, they can repeatedly, they can repeat your content, they can have group discussion among, among their friends, they can learn again and again, they can learn anytime they are comfortable. So, so this is Good. To me, this is good. You give a lot of learner autonomy. You give them time to digest and read. This is all for good of learning. No, not the regimented come to class, uh, physics 8 o'clock, MC 9 o'clock. Mati ya, udah tuh. By the time 12 o'clock, lembek hari. And nothing going here. Once they eat lunch, all gone. <laughs> okay, okay. So, <laughs> so you, 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 now it's a chance for you to uh, uh, do some co co learning co creation. You can ask student. Uh, this one I will explain later. You can ask student to uh, at, uh, enhance some competency. You can ask student to make some videos for you. You can ask student to get some content for you. You know, get them involved in learning. So to me, eh, the COVID is not a stumbling block, but an opportunity to, to innovate. You know, to really innovate in your uh, uh, in your teaching and learning. And now because the resources now, the connectivity now is very different from two years ago. Now they, you can do. You can ask the student now. Allah, take this one. Student, talk two minutes. Send to you. Okay, two minutes is so long. Thirty seconds only. Ten seconds only. Okay. Uh, when I finish this lecture, I am going to assume everybody got connection. Lah. Okay. After the lecture, every student give me a ten second summary of your lecture. Send to me. Okay. And you upload in Padlet. Then everybody can see everybody's 10 seconds only. You think 10 seconds is easy to talk. You still have to prepare to, to, to talk to 10 seconds. So you innovate, lah. innovate. You keep them occupied, keep them excited, you know. Uh, see, and, they, and they see each other's face in Padlet, although they may uh, feel lonely at home. But when they see Padlet, oh, they can see the class on Padlet, everybody talking for 10 seconds. They hilang, like, rindu, kawan kawan, and you know, all that shit, you know, kind of thing, you know. So it's a, it's a new, new world, it's a new environment. They can be equally interesting. Equally interesting, equally innovating, equally uh, captivating, like I say. So, you know, what as a team, like, you discuss together, you know, how to make this interesting. Okay. 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 This is my reflection on online. Okay. I, I, I think ODI is not an issue. ODI is just a mechanism. ODI is a mechanism of uh, the learning. It's not the same place as the teaching. So, the, the how you how you tweak your content is more managerial, actually. More managerial to send learner. Uh, getting the line ready, connectivity, da da da. So ODL is not uh, difficult in terms of teaching and learning. It's so difficult in terms of uh, the logistics, because in campus your content are you, you already have content. You already have content. It's not like you're creating new content. This is already one. This is also one 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 puzzling thing to me. When when this uh, emergency remote teaching, are you everybody? I see on the internet, <laughs> in Facebook, every lecturer want to make studio at home. Why? <laughs> and everybody tayang, oh, this is my studio, this is my studio. What the hell? <laughs> Who gives a whatever of your studio? We want good content for the learner. <laughs> you know, and everybody uh, sharing all oh, how to go to Zoom or what the, you know, how to, how to use Zoom. Come on, lah. it's not rocket science how to use Zoom. Why you want to use Zoom? You want to use this, you want to use that. You know, you play methods enough really done and they study, you know. Then you can uh, do more. Even through the post, 
you either do you have Gaia post lah, whatever Stanford. It can be done. You know why? What's the obsession with technology? Technology is only meant to assist you, help you in any way possible. It shouldn't be an encumbrance. It shouldn't be an issue. It could. It should not be a stumbling block. It shouldn't be a. a, a Make things worse. <laughs> you know what to find the word. Okay, okay. So now this is my. I'm not sure whether I've said this in the in the in the in the, in the course of my my talking just now. But uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's let's um, let's go through a bit. Uh, any 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 one any question that uh, need to be addressed uh, while I. Anybody ask anything or comment anything or. Am I, am, I, am I too fast or what? No, it's, it's good, Prof, because it's engaging the participant to discuss <laughs> among themselves. Yeah, and okay. then re, they are reminiscing the other big eye post as well. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but this one question, um, um, Prof, how do we address the issue of the effective domain in this ec online ecosystem? Ha. Huh. When you 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 can you can create a video of yourself actually you know i don't this also i don't understand people making avatar people using cartoon why eh? you're not dead yet you know you make a small motivating okay okay this uh, look if you you just the mobile device just the mobile device you send to them some motivating motivating caring uh message on the mobile Okay. Yes, student. Please, I'm. I'm. I'm da, 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 da. No, that is enough. You know, take care of yourself. Take care of your and and um. Let's say uh, I've already sent your assignment. Take some time. I you know. Or before a test, uh, I wish all of you good luck. Send through the mobile phone. Is enough. The the thing is the connectivity, because they are. But the and, and like I say, connectivity now is even better than before. Yes, a short message, number of SMS. So, so wish them luck in the exam, to wish them luck in the test, you know, uh, just to remind them, I hope you are doing your revision. It's enough. They feel you. They feel you, although they are away. A short message, only five seconds for you to type. Send to everyone. You may already have a WhatsApp group or Telegram group. One shot you send, every we get. Oh, lecturer still think of person. It's enough. You know, like I said, it, it can be done. And I remember when I was overseas, Lou, you send a letter, one month letter to go, one month letter to come back. Now FaceTime, you know, every day can FaceTime with your daughter, um, <coughs> with your children overseas. So things have changed so much, very really different. <coughs> okay, okay. Now, um, uh, it can be more engaging. You can use multimedia, video, animation, simulation, movie. You know, you know there's so much content on the internet now. You can, <coughs> uh, excuse me. You can have a lot of, you can you don't even have to make one new animation. I, I like I said, I teach physics, I get so any animation and uh, simulation on the internet. Pendulum, blah blah blah. Take the ones that are um, not so heavy. Lah. But the best thing to do is to create a portfolio. I'm not sure that I have it inside the portfolio or not. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Create a portfolio, like, 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 create your own portfolio where you dump a lot of content that for you, like your own, like your own, your own portfolio, your own bank, your own, your own, your own, uh, your own portfolio, where you can upload a lot of uh, the material resources that you already curated for use. Uh, this is another thing, you you can do all these things ahead of time. Not that tomorrow lecture only you want to find, tomorrow lecture only you want to find, no, 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 no. You, the, way, the way you do things must also change now. You already know. Like I said, you've been teaching for the last God knows how many years. Bukan, you started teaching yesterday. So you know the kind of content that you should get. Now is the time to kind of... And you got the time. The, the students are not going to disturb you. They are, they are in your own house. They are not in the, the university to knock on your door. No, you got a lot of time. You save travel time. You save a lot of... You save travel time. Huh? Eating to the canteen time. Try not. Hmm. So, you have a lot of extra time. You have a lot. Uh, why am I listening to myself on my phone? Hello? Okay, can you hear me? Okay, can you hear me? Uh, I think but, I'm echoing, bro. Ah, okay. Not sure why. I think you're logged on to two device, bro. That's why. No, no. 
No, no. I'm only on my, I'm only on my laptop. Oh, okay. It's clear, Prof. Now, but sometimes it's interrupted. Okay, okay. okay. No, 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 it's gone. No, 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 it's gone. Okay, okay. So now, make more engaging content. Uh, curate, find, uh, and 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 also you can you can you can ask the student to find some content. I'm going to assume everybody got 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 connection lah. But for those who have connection, maybe they can assist you to find content. Those who do not have connection can can enjoy whatever is curated. You can turn it into a competition. The best content that the student get gives get. 50 ringgit or something like that. <laughs> kind of, I owe you a KFC voucher or something. Like oh, give some voucher, you know, you know. Okay, so make it more, there are so many ways to make it engaging, you know, other than other than the fact that they can, I say, give a two, 30 second summary of uh, the, the lecture and upload impact. So make, make it engaging. Uh, you can have more, uh, more uh, frequent feedback. Yeah, asynchronous. Sometimes you also, when the student asks question, you don't have an answer on the spot. <laughs> you know, so you take some time to find an answer and then uh, share. Uh, you don't only need to upload, you can also have it on CD, you can also have it on pen drive, whatever. You know, get, get things to, to the student in any way possible. And you can do more activities. You can, you have more resources, more activities. And you can also leverage on available resources. You know, you, there, there are billions of resources that you can use on the internet that you use it to as a teaching content on top of your content. There are some good content out there, you know. Okay, so this allows for learner autonomy. You, you keep them busy, don't keep them bored. In fact, if you if you ask them to kind of uh, you you prepare you prepare you prepare a class list you, know? you prepare a class list or pictures small small like, like you see now, now on the uh, on the on the screen now picture 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 everybody and you send to them like a poster so they post it on the wall so they can kind of look at your friends and class class friends on the wall so they're gonna be not would would be so lonely <laughs> loneliness is a big issue I think yeah. So you 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 not 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 creating a classroom situation, but you're trying to make them as comfortable as possible. Okay, you can kind of personalize it a little bit. Okay, boleh lah try and see. Oh, ada sudah ada sudah tu dulu You take a picture of your group and then make a make a photo and and, and then if 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 things get back to normal, this will be very good memories of uh, all the kind of the thing that they hit they had to do to go through learning. You know, you know. interesting lah, interesting. I'm so I I. I uh, so bad I pension already. If not, I can do a lot more things. <laughs> okay, okay. So like I said, like I said, uh, immediacy, immediacy is lost. There's no more. The, the, no things cannot be done on an immediate capacity. Can come to class, do this, that. No, no, no. Okay. To the point that if you can even videotape your lectures, why, why must go online? Why is online lecture? What's a big like I said? What's a big deal about online? You can videotape a lecture because students got time to actually. Uh, but but you must always tie your lecture with some activity because people say oh student don't see how can student don't see student answer your question they must see but after i show you a bit more how, how how to make them how to tie them you know okay uh you can create a playlist or repository uh, for learners uh upload on cd or uh, on your lms you know there are many ways to get to the learners uh you must in odl this is almost a must a self-instructional course content uh, as a base okay the rest are all just added on like 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 a textbook lah. but this is not a textbook but it has to be written in a self-instructional manner you call it didactic Didact didactic means a teaching a writing that can teach okay so you are not writing a textbook you are writing a self-instructional content based on your material so you know i i always say if you if you look at a movie or a drama or a skit or something it comes most of the time it comes from a book you know from the book you can turn it into a play you can turn it into a movie you can turn it into a, you can break it up into you know so you must have the basic instruction it's very easy actually your notes you can compile those notes into a I, I, a topic and then you can expand your notes based on uh, if you refer to my writing or self learning material development, you can, you can, you can, you can, uh, in between your notes, you can add on all these learning activities that you can have already. Uh, self, yeah. So you don't have to, 
you have to you don't have to redo everything your notes is already there as a guide you just have to put it in order in sequence of the learning engagement it's already uh, you can find the book okay tutorial question like i say people you your student come to your tutorial only they get to tutorial question but now it must be in advance i remember once i was in uh, in, in, in overseas first day of the course you we got an envelope which inside the envelope is one uh, uh 100 tutorial question uh so all the lecturer have to do is okay do one five seven or those who are uh, a bit more rajin can sit down together and go through but it's already there okay so they can say the keyword here in odl is also advanced yeah, planning must be in advanced planning okay pass your questions now the student cannot go to the library anymore they have no access to the library so pass your questions there are two ways of doing it either you photocopy pass your question or you use pass your questions as assignments because eventually now eventually they have to set they have they have to sit for the exam and the pass your question is the 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 how the exam is going to be asked it's the exact way how the exam question will be uh constructed anyway so they get used to exam question use past year exam questions as a, a, a assignment or whatever the case may be or give them some kind of a sample past year question for it because they really like i said they have no more access uh, that, that 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 framework is gone and then make it interesting you can do a video trailer of your lecture you promo like okay you uh, 30 second okay if you know even movie and drama they say promo only 30 second movie they only they show you the best bits of the movie lah when you see the movie where, where is that be coming out only <laughs> okay even on your handphone you can do okay next lecture we're going to do, 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 do. okay you, you know this is how you remain connected you know don't, don't go a wall and then suddenly one week later you appear you know just keep that and it doesn't take very long, only a 10 second video tra trailer or, or, or what lecture, what's the next lecture you're going to listen to, why you should listen to the next lecture. So you keep them uh, motivated. Okay, this one, is, this one is, is interesting. This is even for face to face, I comment. Examples of A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I, I, you may have done it, I don't know. I, I'm not going to accuse anybody of anything. But the students know or not what is what an A answer or B answer, C answer look like. We always go to the exam board. We say, student don't know how to answer this question. Or student did not answer this question fully. Every year you give the same reason in the exam board. But do they know what an A answer look like? Or B answer or C answer? Give them some examples. What if you answer like this, you get A. Answer like this, you get B. You answer like this, you get F. Or you can even use anonymously some sample of students the way answer you 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 take away their name and you show this confirm C <laughs> you know you know, okay yeah. okay you can also I think we're not talking about ODR anymore now we're talking about how to actually uh, like I said ODR is just the 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 concept you know but bottom line is. Uh, it's not the car or the jet or the submarine that you travel in. It's what is inside there, you know. <laughs> Am I talking nonsense or what? Are you understand? Are you what are the guy talking about? I'm talking about the the app, the is open and distant learning. But then the learning, the learning must be interesting. Learning has to be, you know, uh, because you come from face to face. We need to tweak it. No, no, don't don't take take face to face out. No, no, so ODA. Open this learning. Student not in front of you. How to keep them motivated? How to? Because there's so much that you can do with your content. So you, you can be so creative. You can create an FAQ style of teaching. Ah. Okay. In fact, now there is also a video FAQ. You can Google and say video FAQ. And video doesn't have to be two minutes, uh, five minutes. No, video must be very short. Very short. You know, just enough time for them uh, to access and and get some definition something is enough you don't want to upload them with one hour lecture at the end of the day they come out you don't anything you know 
this is like this is like the this is like uh, they call it Coca Cola paradigm. Uh. You open Coca Cola after after a few minutes, fizz out. You have to open another can. So you must keep that fizz all the time. You know, create short FAQ as a teaching style. Uh, create question bank keep for yourself. Question bank now like because you have to do things in advance. With a question bank, you can uh, you can you can you can uh, make it on call so that no two students can get the same questions. Ah, uh, can I, can I. Eh? This is just some suggestion because because now like I said the because immediacy is lost. You have to think in a way that. Uh, they can do it in their own time, anytime, anywhere, and as long as it's been, and, and what, what comes back to you also comes back in trickles. I mean, you do, you, you put a deadline, a realistic deadline, don't say I want tomorrow, the impossible, you say in two weeks time, I want to do it, okay, fine, okay, so they will have to find a way to do it, uh, like I said, uh, okay, 